So entering diagnostics is going to be a very similar process um, as labs. You want to go again to the assessment and plan area and you want to get to this screen again. As always, make sure to enter your assessments first. If you haven't entered them, you want to go there first. And so let's say that for that low back pain that originally we said that we're going to wait on that x-ray, you actually we're going to order it today. So you're going to select the assessment, low back pain. And let's say that you're going to do an x-ray of the spine. So let's say that you're going to do an x-ray of the lower spine, the 72110. So again, you want to establish a time frame. So the time frame can be, let's say, four weeks. Or you can, if you think that is urgent, then you need to type urgent. Please do not type ASAP or today if you think it's something that needs immediate attention. Please type urgent or select a time frame. Okay. Once you're done with that, you want to hit place order. Here in this screen, you want to select the attending that you're working with. If you're the attending, you do not need to select anyone. You will just cancel out. But let's say that you're working with Dr. Andres. So you will select Dr. Andres from the list and she will get added here. Once you hit OK, the system will trigger her to come and approve this referral for imaging. So once that's done, we're going to save and close. And again, we need to go to checkout to generate the document for this. So we go to checkout. And we see it here listed as exam of the lower spine. If you have specific instructions for the x-ray technicians, you can select it and edit. And you can type here the reason for referral would be low back pain. And let's say that you want three views. Um, so here you would say uh, like a one-liner, 75-year-old um, with uh, low, low back pain for the past 10 years, requires x-rays of low back, please obtain three views minimum. This is where you will give you special instructions. Here you would just save and close. And if you want to verify that your instructions got there, you can scroll to the right, but here they are. Now that you're here, you will select it and you will generate the requisition. If you're the attending, you would just sign off on this document. If you're not the attending, you're like a resident or a medical student, you would just close it. Here you can verify that it actually has been generated, as you can see. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoy it.